Hello guys and welcome to another stalker video from your favorite broken English guy. And in today's video I want to talk about the 5 worst armors in Stalker Shadow of Chernobyl. Leave a like and subscribe if you want to see more stalker videos like this. And now let's start. On the 5th place we have the exoskeleton. And I know some of you will disagree with me and I understand this. I mean look at the stats of the exoskeleton, they are not bad at all all and you can easily get the exoskeleton from the barkeep for 100,000 rubles after completing the x16 laboratory quest so basically in the late mid game but why I have put the exoskeleton on this list the answer is very simple you cannot sprint with the exoskeleton and this makes the armor almost useless for me especially in the mid and early late game where you have to sprint a lot to move forward I mean you can find the exoskeleton inside of the sarcophagus and to be honest this is the only good place where you can use the exoskeleton i mean there are a lot of monoliths and you are basically in a close quarters combat situation but apart from this i do not think that the exoskeleton is that useful in shadow of chernobyl i would rather pick the scut 9 military suit on the fourth place we have the psc 9d duty armor. The main reason why this armor is on this list is because this armor has almost the same stats as the sunrise suit. The only thing which makes the duty armor better than the sunrise armor is 10% more protection from explosion and 10% more bulletproof cap. But that's literally it. And this is not even the worst part. The fastest way to get the duty armor is by completing a mission from Colonel Petrenko where you have to steal a Bulldog 6 from the Freedom Faction or by just going to the Red Forest and getting it for free on the monolith sniper location and this is literally in the end game so at that time you can literally have one of the best armor suits in the game and you just don't need the duty armor anymore unless you are a hardcore duty fanboy on the third place we have the wind of freedom suit there are actually two good things about this suit first of all you can easily find this suit on the wild territories and this suit is one of the lightest suits in game with only three kilograms of weight but that's actually it. The Wind of Freedom suit is basically the Walmart version of the Sunrise suit, especially if we take a look on the Burn and Rapture protection. On the second place we have the Bandit jacket. And the main reason for the Bandit jacket to be on the second place is because you just don't need it. If you know the mercenary armor stash in the Rookie village, you will agree with me that the Bandit jacket is just useless. And if we compare the Bandit jacket to the leather jacket we can see that the bandit jacket has 5% more bulletproof cap but the thing is you spawn with the leather jacket that means that you don't have to find it in a stash or something like that and like I said the mercenary suit in the rookie village will solve every problem in the early game but I have to admit that the bandit jacket looks very cool and on the first place we have the SSP-99 Ecologist. You can get this suit from Saharov after successfully escorting Kruglov to the bunker on Yanta. But what's the problem with this suit? I mean the stats for anomaly protection are very high. But this is not a very big deal in Shadow of Chernobyl. Compared to Clear Sky or Call of Pripyat, in Shadow of Chernobyl anomalies do not have an area of effect if that's the right way to call it so basically as long as you don't run straight into an anomaly you will not get damage and in the most places you can easily notice anomalies so you can easily move around them what makes the very good stats of this armor very useless also the bulletproof cap and the rapture stats are very bad. They are almost on the same level as the bandit jacket. And the SSP 99M suit, which you will get from Saharov after completing the X16 laboratory quest, is just better. So that's it for today's video. I know some of you will disagree with this ranking and this is completely fine. After all, this video is just based on my opinion and if you have another opinion on that, feel free to tell us your opinion in the comments down below. Leave a like and subscribe 
subscribe if you want to see more stalker videos like this and i will see you in the next video